hi this is not drawn to scale welcome back to my channel today we are giving an equilateral triangle in which three circles of the same size of radius five units are inscribed inside the circle so we are asked to find the perimeter of this particular triangle okay first of all this triangle is an equilateral triangle meaning that the sides are equal okay presumably because this is not draw to scale so everything the sides are equal the meaning that if we can get just one line okay one side of this triangle then we'll multiply whatever we got by three to get the perimeter because the perimeter is assuming the side is x okay this side is also x and this side is also x so perimeter is equal to x plus x plus x which is equal to 3x so the main question now is what is the value of x if we're able to get the value of x then we are done okay so how do we go about this first of all let me draw a bigger um triangle here like i said this is not drawn to scale just a freehand sketch so presumably this is an equilateral triangle we have this we have this okay and we have this all of them joined together okay yeah i know what you're thinking please three circles of set of um radius five each okay so from here to here it's five from here to here is five as well now since this is an equilateral triangle the sum of angle in a triangle is 180 degrees okay so we have a b and c so triangle a b c is equal to 180 degrees all right then it means that if you want to get one of these triangles it should be 180 divided by 3 which will give us 60 degrees okay all right now so if we add the triangle a to angle b to angle c that is angle a plus angle b plus angle c is 180 i believe you understood what i did anyway so it means that here is 60 60 degrees okay here is 60 degrees here is 60 degrees as well now let me not write that let's bisect this one if we bisect it that means one side is 30 degrees right so we have 30 degrees here all right now remember that this is what this is a tangent this line here is a tangent and when you draw a straight line from the center of a circle to the point of contact between a tangent and a circle you form a right angle triangle okay so this place is 90 degrees all right and because this from here to here is also the radius of this circle so it means that from here to here is also five now let us draw this angle this um right angle triangle that we formed if we draw it out we have this 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 okay this is five this is 30 this is 60 and we don't know here neither do we know here all right now let us try to get the value of x then the value of y okay or the value of y then the value of x anyone but just follow suit and see what i'm trying to do all right please give us a thumbs up if you're actually enjoying this video and if this is the first time you are seeing this amazing channel please click the subscription button and turn on your notification bell so that at your convenience there must be something new for you to watch by god's grace and yeah let's continue so from this diagram this triangle uh, angle this is 90 this is 30 why did i say this is 60 sum of angle in a triangle is 180 you know that already so 90 plus 30 is 180 120 so we need 60 to complete that so this angle should be 60. now in this particular uh, drawing what i need is y okay you are going to see why i'm looking for this y so if we say using pythagoras theorem 
using Pythagoras theorem okay now you can say that five squared okay we cannot use pythagorean theorem yes except if we have found x let's find x first now using sine sine 30 is equal to opposite which is 5 over the hypotenuse which is x now if we cross multiply we have x sine 30 is equal to 5 now to get x we divide both sides by sine 30 right so x is equal to 5 divided by sine 30 but sine 30 is equal to half all right so it means that x is equal to 5 divided by half okay so x is equal to 5 times 2 divided by 1 x is equal to 10 so now we have the value of this side as 10 so we can now find y using the pythagorean theorem okay so let's go ahead and do that so to find y according to pythagorean theorem your hypotenuse squared which in this case happens to be 10 is going to be equal to this side squared plus this side squared okay so we have 10 squared is equal to 5 squared plus y squared now let's transfer this to this side 10 squared minus 5 squared is equal to y squared now 10 squared is 100 and 5 squared is 25 is equal to y squared now 100 minus 25 we give us 75 is equal to y squared so we take square root of both sides square root of both sides if we do that we have square root of 75 is equal to square root of y squared now 75 can further be expressed as 25 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 sorry so we have square root of 25 multiplied by 3 is equal to y now we can split this as square root of 25 multiplied by square root of 3 is equal to y square root of 25 is 5 so we have 5 root 3 is equal to y okay now we have gotten all we need yes you are going to see what i mean by that so it means that y which is from here to here is 5 root 3 now let's come back to this diagram if we come back to this diagram now this is what we did right this is it thus and this is what we cut okay to get 30 and from here to here is our y which we got as 5 root 3 this is 5 root 3 and from here to here is 5 okay now why did i get from here to here remember that from here to here is 5 and from here to here is another 5 so it means that from here to here will give us 5 plus 5 right which will give us 10 and from here to here is equal to from here to here which is 5 root 3 are you seeing anything all right now we can say that the side of this triangle is 5 root 3 plus 5 root 3 plus 10. Okay. Now, remember that A root B plus B plus C root B is equal to A plus C multiplied by root b okay so that means that we can solve this as 5 plus 5 root 3 
then plus 10. If we solve further, we have 10 root 3 plus 10 as the length of this triangle. Now remember that the perimeter is the sum of the three sides, which is the same thing as one side multiplied by three because this is an equilateral triangle. So perimeter then is equal to three multiplied by 10 root three plus 10, okay? So the perimeter is equal to three times 10 root three will give us 30 root three plus three times plus 10 is plus 30. Now, if we solve this, this is, they have 30 in common, we factorize. 30 root three divided by 30, we give us root three plus 30 divided by 30, we have one. So this is the answer in terms of, in sort form, okay? If I have a calculator, I would have solved this without the calculator. Okay, thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.